take it from the top. I'm sorry, I didn't have my mic. I got a separate mic thing. Uh, what's it like, uh, Jeff, Jeff, to uh, host the, uh, the the Michigan Open year after year? Well, it's been great to have all the top players in the state, pros and amateurs, um, hosting at this great Robert Trent Jones Jr. designed uh, facility. So it's been uh, a lot of fun and look forward to uh, having these people out here. It looks like uh, you pretty much a must play uh, golf facility in uh, this part of Michigan. What makes the orchards uh, that way? Um, we feel that the conditions, uh, the design of the golf course by, uh, like I said before, Robert Trent Jones Jr. Um, his style of uh, design, the um, conditions, our golf course superintendent Robert King um, keeps us in mint condition. The only thing we did different for the championship was let the rough grow and uh, you know maybe double cut the greens a, a couple days but other than that um, we've also had a lot of uh, compliments on the service people enjoy being treated as our slogan is your club for the day and people get treated like they're coming to a country club without the uh, without the country club dues uh, what are so, uh, now that you're hosting this tournament uh, you also host some other big tournaments qualifiers now explain tell us some of those uh, different tournaments in 2002 we hosted the uh, USJ amateur uh, it's a public links amateur championship it was won by Ryan Moore um, defeated Lee Williamson in uh, the finals um, that was back in 2002 we've hosted a Buick open qualifiers USGA senior qualifiers US open qual local qualifiers as well as some game events. What are uh, two or three holes that you can think of that absolutely are the signature holes and uh, kind of tell us what Robert Trett Jones and the Orchards are all about? We have a couple uh, holes out here where they have share fairways. Our 11th hole and 15th hole are back side by side, uh, par fives. Um, fairways cross uh, a couple times together. Um, those are some signature. Um, it's kind of a tale of two nines. We have the front nine, which kind of uh, meanders through some wetlands and wooded areas, as well as then we get the back nine with more of the wispy, uh, heathery areas. And, um, you know, so there's not one specific hole. Hole number 12 is a good par three. Uh, the finishing today with this win, I mean, 17 and 18 are really going to be a good test for the players. 17 can absolutely be brutal if you go right. You see those you see those great two dead trees out in the middle of the fairway, but a lot of golfers miss them anyway. And if you go to the right side, uh, it, that turns that hole into a monster. Yeah, if you get caught up in those uh, fairway bunkers that kind of split 16 and 17 fairways down the right side, it can really uh, provide for a mess of a score.